Hello and welcome again to Jan and Corey's father and son beer drinking experience. Today we have a Cuvée de Jacobin. It's hard for you to see um, because of the light, but what it is is that they're prestige product, which my father and I have never had. Uh, we had their Cuvée product, which is a brune, I think, and both of us remember it as almost overwhelmingly tart and sour, which... Um, for my dad, it would be pretty reasonable. For me, it's really hard to be too tart. And so what we're hoping with this beer today um, is that it's a little bit more tame. And a few things are popping out right away. Once, first of all, the label says that this is a complex beer spontaneously fermented and aged for 24 months in oak fodders. Uh, Prestige, this particular blend, features a full body and soft, deep, and intriguing sourness. A little spiciness makes the beer full-bodied and round. So it also says very limited edition, which what caused us to buy it today. We don't know if it's going to be around for too long. Um, the brew date says 8-8-2017. They age it for two years, like they just said. So we're looking at um, a beer that is estimatively about four and a half years old. Um, and we have got some head from our initial pour, which means there's still some life in it, some vitality. And, uh, Dad, since I've been prattling on, why don't you go ahead and take your first sip and describe it for our viewers. Well, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> maybe take a Ooh. go at the nose first. Ah, it smells funky and it's a little bit sweet. I'm excited. <laughs> It smells like, like I would want it to smell. It smells delicious. It certainly does. You can see the color here. It's a beautiful color too. It's a little on the light side for a like a coppery a amber. Yes, but it's. I'm really excited. Well, let's Let's try it out. Oh, that's sour. It's more sour than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty good, but it's, I think from the beers that we've been having similar to this style lately, um, the Pharaoh that we had recently and mm. Duchess. Not like the Pharaoh. No. <laughs> it's sour, but it's actually friendly sour. I was expecting it to be a lot drier. And it has a, it has kind of a, kind of a viscous, velvety feel that I wasn't expecting to get from this beer at all. Actually, yeah, it's heavier than I, I was expecting it yes. to be. It's still it's still lighter than Duchess and Pharaoh and and your other sours that you're going to be having. I would say that this is more hardcore. I'd say it's more hardcore, but I don't think it's like over the edge hardcore. I almost do. I think I was I had my expectations too high that you know the yeast had been eating the sugar and the beer was going to be sweetened somewhat after four and a half years and there isn't really a whole lot of sweetness that i'm detecting maybe a little bit up, or, oh, a little bit up front that made me make a face <laughs> it is almost a puckering beer isn't it yes it's, it's exactly what happened to me but it's not really like the keystone Bitter beer face. Bitter beer face. No. That commercial from that was like a thirty year old commercial. Right. Probably going after Bex and Pilsner or Kell and those beers. But it's it is very tart. It's to me it's pleasurably tart. Perhaps I'd wish for a little more sweetness, but for this style of beer, I think it's probably pretty true to type. Yeah, I think the word I'm going to come back to the phrase hardcore. So you have. Um, different types of <laughs> Gers and Lambic that, are, that you're going to encounter and, and Flemish Sour. And this is... Uh, this is a sour Flemish Sour. It is, it is a sour Flemish Sour. And it's also, I think, more close to Gers than a lot of the other Flemish Sours that yes, we've had. Yes, I do. I think it's creeping into Gers territory. You're exactly right. And I'm not a fan of Gers generally, but... I think this beer is good. I do too. It mellows a little bit as you get further through the glass. That could be my taste buds adjusting to the 
sourness or, or it could be because it's breathing a little more. I don't know which. It's still puckering. But as I remember, the last Jacobin product that I had was even more sour than this. So. And I think if there's like a needle and a colored scale beneath it, this is tipping close to too sour for me. It's not there. I like it because it's kind of playing on the precipice. It's kind of near the edge. And it's not too sour. I mean, but if you're going to buy this beer and drink it, I think that to have the expectation that you're drinking a very, very sour beer could probably help out your experience. If you're thinking you're going to get something like a Duchess de, Bo de, 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 de Bourgogne. De Bourgogne. De Bourgogne. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> you're, not, you're going to be disappointed because yeah. it doesn't have that underlying... The sweetness adds sweetness. another layer of com another layer of complexity or dimension of complexity. This is a very simple, although pleasing beer. The uh, there's not really a big the alcohol is masked very well. Part of that's because you're getting the classic oak vinegar um, flavor that's much more pronounced than the taste or the flavor of alcohol. Now, I'm not getting barely any alcohol taste in this. No, I'm not either. Which is good, usually. I've got to say, uh, I had low expectations for this beer and they've been met. <laughs> it's like the, the Venus de Mayo. Everything about it is everything about it is entirely, entirely admirable, admirable, but it's not a full sculpture. No, it, and that's sort of like this beer. I mean, I guess if you're looking for a hardcore, one-dimensional, very simple, like Oud Gers style, lambic Flemish sour, and I know Paul, I apologize for there, the length of that description. This is what you. This is what you want. I and think. there are people out there I know who would like this beer very much. And and absolutely no patronization to that preference either because I, I just believe that this is a very authentic old style yes it I doesn't agree. happen to be our cup of tea but I, I think that we can imagine that this would be sort of an herb beer for for people that are liking this style and, and want something this simple yeah I agree well, it's got great mouthfeel for a Gur style beer that, that is one thing that's friendly about it. The mouthfeel is not so much that you're kind of backing off and saying, mm, I don't know about this. <laughs> right. You definitely don't want too thin. And that's been my problem with a lot of Gers and, and Lambic even. As if it has that real thinness. And if it moves through your mouth too quickly and doesn't interact with uh, all of your buds and palates, that's the beer I don't like. And you can kind of have a metallicness as it passes through entirely too quickly through your mouth. This beer doesn't have it. It's got a good... So to sum up, perhaps not our favorite style, but very true to type, and I'm sure there will be plenty of people who would like to sample this. Yep, a beer worth drinking in our opinion. Uh, for now, signing off. Thanks for joining us again.